Factor investing is increasing in popularity, attracting professional investors looking for diversification, lower risks, and higher returns. Well-known and proven factors of factor investing are value, momentum, and low volatility. What should investors know in order to maximize their factor investing performance? 1. Factor investing is not hype. Hypes are based on the subjective, on emotions, and tend to be relatively short-lived. The contrary is true for factor investing. Factor investing is backed by many years of academic research. Simultaneously, factor investing has gradually gained ground and is still growing. 2. Invest in the proven factors. Value, momentum, and low volatility, for which there is ample academic evidence, work better than the latest, less researched factors. This was one of the findings of a study by Rubico's head of factor investing research, Joop Hout, which looked at the data of approximately 7,000 funds over a period of 20 years. What he found was that the latest, more exotic factors have little or no empirical evidence to support their existence and they lack economic rationale. Moreover, the premiums of proven factors won't simply disappear. Because despite its increase in popularity, even the most optimistic expectations predict that not all investors will be willing and able to implement factor investing due to conservatism and the asset management industry structure. 3. Factor premiums are not the result of higher risks. Take value. Research carried out by Rubico shows that you can capture value premium without having to invest in high-risk stocks. Stocks with a high risk of distress, poor financial strength, and an aggressive accounting base. It's possible to set up a successful value strategy while avoiding such stocks. 4. An enhanced factor approach leads to a higher performance. Investors can choose indexes to get factor exposure, but an enhanced factor approach leads to higher performance. Indexes aren't designed to harvest these premiums in the most efficient manner. A better approach would be to avoid the main pitfalls. Risks that do not lead to higher returns. Sometimes it's better to avoid risk by having a good screening process. High portfolio turnover. Strategies with a high turnover lead to high trading costs and these costs eat into net performance. Negative exposure to other factors. There is little use in having positive exposure to one factor when it leads to negative exposure to others. 5. A portfolio should be diversified over multiple factors. Diversification does not need to be difficult. With a fund, the asset manager can measure the factor exposures and make sure that the portfolio remains well diversified across multiple factors. And options are available. The expected benefit is a higher sharp ratio. Using multiple factors at the same time can also pay off in other markets, such as the credit market. Want to know more? Go to rubico.com slash factor investing.